Today we are sharing some brand new news regarding the upcoming dinosaur evolutionary survival game Historia. Now this news video will be everything dinosaur and we will be, well, this is a video that will be coming out probably after the other news videos that I have planned and have already scheduled to upload. If, if they are out by then, here's them on the screen now if you want to go and check them out. And I do hopefully have a roster video out by now, but often if not... That will be coming after this video. Other than that, today we're focusing on the creatures of the game because a whole bunch of brand new creatures for the game have just dropped. So I thought this would be probably the best time to cover them because I didn't cover them in my roster video because I didn't even know about them when I made that video. Of course, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe. I make a wide bunch of content regarding dinosaur and upcoming dinosaur games on this channel. And if you do enjoy that, yeah, feel free to stick around. But let's get right into this video. So starting off with a brand new model for a new dinosaur that will be playable in the early access form or the demo form of the game when the Triassic is ready to go. This is Melanorosaurus, which has a brand new model in the game. This dinosaur is a very good looking dinosaur in the game. And well, if you do not know what Melanorosaurus is, this is an early sauropodomorph dinosaur from the late Triassic of South Africa. This is a dinosaur that in the game will be the last sauropodomorph you play as and the last one in the Triassic era for the game because this is the starter for the Jurassic era as well. Now of course we do not know many of the dinosaurs that will come before Melanorosaurus and before it there are three blank spaces between it and Eoraptor so if you want to guess and theorize what is coming in between Melanorosaurus and Eoraptor let me know in the comments down below. However this is the same rank as the dinosaur that is probably the dead end dinosaur but of course we don't know what that dinosaur is yet but it could branch into a different playstyle altogether. I wonder what dinosaur it is. Put your theories in the comment. Either way now we have the Melanorosaurus model which I think looks absolutely incredible. We see both the male and female and we see some sexual dimorphism here. Two different variations of the dinosaur. The male has a dewlap and the female does not. I don't think there is any height differences as well which is good because then you know it's not the problem of the males are too small so they can't find a mate. I'm sure there'll be some color differences though because female dinosaurs are tending to be more duller kind of like birds in dinosaur games. So that will probably be the case. What do you guys think about Melanorosaurus? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this model. This is a brand new model for the game. It's a very interesting one to see as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it and what dinosaurs you think come between this and Eoraptor. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Speaking of that little devil Eoraptor, we have some brand new information regarding this little guy that I'm going to be talking about and this is the brand new dossier for Eoraptor. Now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting the images of the dossier up on the screen while I describe the images and go over what I think it is because we don't have an explanation for what each of these images are so we can just go off of what I think they are. So this shows a bunch of brand new information for our little Eoraptor and I have a feeling this could lead to a small remodel of the guy because this information, this dossier has so much detail on the model. So Let's go over the dossier, shall we? So the Eoraptor in the first one seems to be challenging what could be a brand new carnivore in the game, showing its dominance and protecting a nest. This could mean Eoraptors live in a large family group or pack because you can see two Eoraptors behind it. Second image shows the little guy running away from what looks like a new carnivore. I don't know, it could be Prestosuchus, but it runs on its hind legs. So it might be Postosuchus, which we don't know about yet. The next image shows the bond between two Eoraptors. Now this makes me think maybe we'll see a bond system in the game where as you grow together over time, you increase your bond and it will make you better parents when you are raising your young overall and unlocking unique perk through that. Next image shows the unique diet of Eoraptor, both a meat eater and a herbivore from what I can tell, which is going on. And that's pretty much very good for everyone. You can now tailor a gameplay style to this little guy. However, it will specialize down a herbivorous route because it goes into sauropods. But I wonder what happens if you eat meat. Do you become a carnivorous sauropod? 
I don't know. The final one, we see the Eoraptor hiding away from the big heavy bruiser that was hunting it. It shows a sense of scale here, how in the game you'll be able to hide from the big guys by hiding under logs or hiding in small places that they can't get you from. What do you think about this brand new dossier for Eoraptor? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. I think it's pretty cool. It's very nice to see. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's get right into the next part of this video, shall we? Now finally, let's go over some brand new creatures that are coming to Historia that you won't know about yet. So firstly, we see from the dossier of Eoraptor, we actually find out about a new creature. And I was kind of right. I said Prestosuchus, so I was wrong. But then I said Postosuchus, and it is Postosuchus after all. But this looks absolutely fantastic. And I really like the addition of this new creature. Now, I'm only going to be showing the dinosaur dossier art rather than the art that the devs shown because the dev art that they shown is an official concept art. So I don't want to get into hot water by covering that. Now, what it looks like by Postosuchus, although it's going to be a lower level than Prestosuchus, which is the apex Pseudosuchian line in this one, the the Postosuchus is the creature that starts the pseudo Suchian line in the Jurassic era. So with Posto, you'll be able to move on to the Jurassic era. And I don't know what will happen if you pick Prestosuchus or you go over and play as that creature. So it's very interesting to note. What do you guys think about uh, Posto Sucus. Let me know in the comments down below. I think it's very nice to see another big heavy bruising crocodile in the game. The next playable we get from some official concept or teaser art and this is Stegosaurus. This is a brand new creature to come to the Jurassic roster for Historia and it actually comes with some very interesting information from the developers of the game which I'm going to be telling you right now. We often touched on having special kinds of skins within Historia, but never delved into the expectations of some adaptations which will take place. Here's a perfect example of what you can expect. This illustration depicts the level of camouflage creatures will be able to reach to be able to survive. Notice the fern patterns on the plates which blend into the surroundings to allow maximum coverage and deception. I'm sure this will, be, will get the personal skin people thinking. What do you guys think about this new creature news and what do you think that new news about Stegosaurus? What do you think about that? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about these brand new creature news for Historia. I'm here to update you more on Historia and I hopefully will have a full roster video coming out soon. Other than that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.